What's going on, everybody? It's David from the 80s, and you're now entering the cinema chop shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account. If you click it, you can become a member. All you gotta do is try recommend movies and music and trailers we react to. So click the link. Now, with that being said, I'm here today to react to a trailer. I know I haven't done this in a while, but this movie has gotten me in the mood to react to a trailer. We are talking none other than Joker 2, Folly Adu, or Folly Adu, I don't know how to say it. We're just going to call it Joker 2. So, without further apu, just kidding. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the trailer, shall we? Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within us. Really make this music. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. That's the microphone. Let's get out of here. Look at the color scheme of this, guys. You gotta, you gotta, she looks amazing. Looks amazing. What the world? Needs love. Is oh, okay, all right. I like that transition. Hey, all the fun you're making it. Tell us, what changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. We are alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. Okay. All right, IMAX. Shh, gotta see that shit in IMAX. All right, look. So initial thoughts: one, I was terrified. I mean, petrified. I mean, scared out of my wits to hear about the Joker being a musical. But after watching this trailer, you know, I didn't see much musical elements in it. I still want to see this shit. The cinematography in the movie looks fantastic. That light scene coming. The, the, the stage light coming down and hitting him while he's smoking. Um, her drawing, a little smiley face, and then him smiling into it. I mean, it's just little things like that that really make you say, damn, like, this fool Ty Phillips knows what the fuck he's doing. You know, and I got to give it to him. This movie looks like it's going to be another cinematic movie. Is this going to be the Joker you want? Obviously not. Is this going to be the Harlequin you want? Obviously not. But at the same time, I'm okay with Elseworld stories. I'm okay with just trying to tell a story in general. It looks like, you know, it's going to be a mix between what's really happening and the madness. They're both stuck inside of this imaginary world that's inside of the Joker's mind. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, the king, the king, king of comedy, right? Like it was what he pictured in his mind was not what was going on in the world around him. And it's, it's just showing away how far Joker is broken away from reality. I can't, I really can't wait to see this movie. I'm really hyped to see this movie. It's coming out this year. I mean, it's it's a beautiful trailer. I The song was perfect. Lady Gaga didn't annoy me with her face, you know? And again, honestly, I'm not a Lady Gaga fan like whatsoever. But, as, but after Star Wars Born, I, I had to put some respect on the name because when I saw her in, let's see, she was in like two seasons of American Horror Story. And I mean, she was terrible, terror freaking bull, right? 
She was like a vampire in one season. And I don't know what the hell she was in another season. But she's been in like two seasons of American Horror Story. She was terrible. And I saw her in The Star is Born, and I already I rolled my eyes. I was like, man, this shit's going to be stupid. But she surprised the hell out of me, and she did really good. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to allow her to be in this movie and see how what goes from here. I personally think Margaret Robbie would have been dope as shit to put her in this movie as well. And because Margaret Robbie is an amazing, amazing actress. And Joaquin Venus is an amazing actress, actor. So it's like putting them two together, it'll be phenomenal. I feel like I feel like Lady Gaga is gonna have a hard time keeping up with Joaquin Phoenix's performance because he's just that captivating. But who knows? She might surprise me. But I think that this movie is gonna be the best rated R movie of the year, probably. You know, I, I think that it's probably going to be one of the better Razor R's movies of this year. So that's my prediction. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Did you guys like the trailer? How are you feeling about the trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below. And you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you guys are magnificent day. And adios, homies. I want to play a game. Subscribe now. The choice is yours. Sitting this cinema church. <laughs>